Hello awesome people, what is going on? It's Brad Fusion here and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Legacy where in today's episode we will be exploring a little bit more of this mountaintop area and hopefully finding something related to the Snow Elves or the Pale Lady quest. Now, just quickly referring to the book and the map here as I like to do at the start of the episode to recap on what we've been doing for anyone who may just be jumping in now and have missed the past few episodes. We are looking for the Pale Lady quest, the lady that steals, uh, the ghostly lady that steals children and so on, that hides around Mortal, at least the book did mention the Northern Marshes above Mortal, but I haven't really had much luck finding her there. So what we've found now is a book called The Wisp Mother, with that kind of detail-y, uh, that kind of explains similarly the Pale Lady or the Pale Lady is. So we're having a feeling that, or at least I have a feeling that she is a Wisp Mother of sorts. And if we go on this book, the book speaks of a mountaintop just south of Mortal, or at least this region, because uh, it does say the Snow Elves on this left-hand side page here. The Snow Elves who once ruled Skyrim, some say the natives to Hyamach or the Northern more generally area, but uh, other tales mention them in forgotten places on mountaintops uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm looking on the mountaintops right now to see if I can find anything too relevant, but they are meant to be localized mostly to the Hyamach region, which I'll show you in just a moment, even though it says it more generally in the Northern area. So if we go to the map here, the Hjalmarch area is the area within this red border here. Now because it mentioned mountaintops, that's why I'm more so exploring this mountainous area here, but I'll probably end up going up here as well, before looping back around to do this mountain, just in case there might be something of relevance up on here as well. But this again is my priority area of searching, and then again moving on to maybe over here-ish and then over here. Now the funny thing is, uh, it does say the Pale Lady Quest, which be kind of ironic and kind of laughable if it actually had something to do with this place named the Pale, which is this whole region here. Though I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. Uh, it might be. It might be somewhere amongst here and I'm just being an idiot and that's why it's called the Pale Lady. But I'm assuming it's the Pale Lady because that's the colour of the, the Wisp Mothers mostly, being a, a lightish, greenish, pale colour. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's... I'm hoping it's not going to be in here and we're just wasting our time up on this mountain top. But anyway... We're exploring anyways, this is all we had to go off on right now. I mean, the, the initial book wasn't exactly that great in detailing where the, the lady was, other than saying, in the marshes up the northern area, and we've explored all of this northern marshes area, and we haven't really found anything. So, yeah, great, great, great job, book. Great job on your uh, on your information there. So, yeah, we're exploring the mountaintop here. We're going to be heading over to the east side now, looking a little bit further maybe in this valley here, where we w once walked past on our way towards Whiterun. That was a little bit more scarier than we kind of initially expected it to be, but we should be fine now, maybe, with our current level and everything. And then maybe moving up to this peak here, and then kind of transferring over onto the path, and then heading again over here. That That's my idea for what or where exactly we're going to be going today. Now, we are a little bit cold on top of the mountain, admittingly. My character is kind of freezing, and I don't want to fast travel. No, thank you. Okay, so yeah, it is very, very cold up here, and our character isn't doing too well. He's actually... It's actually freezing right now, so I'm hoping that we are here that can find fire of some kind. Or maybe we'll have to go back down the mountain, just temporarily, uh, to go towards Morthal. And then maybe we'll climb back up the mountain on the side that's relevant. Because I don't think there's any paths that lead from here to over there. Um, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we should be following the paths, but I'm guessing the paths usually lead to the places that we want them to lead to. I mean, if these people ruled Skyrim in any way, you'd think that they'd have a more noticeable path system to where they are. But yeah, we are currently freezing to death, so we need to get out of here before we die. Uh, we don't even have any heat sources on us, I don't think, other than maybe our... Um, I mean, can we even set up a campfire here just for some sort of warmth? I don't think we can. But we do have a torch, I know that, I know that for sure. We have a torch, but I don't know if it'll be enough to heat us. So, I mean, good luck, uh... Too bad you can't equip two of them. So let, let's head back down the mountain now, so we can get ourselves a little bit warmer, and then we'll head back up the mountain on the side that's actually relevant. So, because I don't think we're going to be running into any enemies on this mountain top, or on this way down towards Mornthal, I'm going to most likely fast forward it. I'll see you guys once we've actually warmed ourselves up, and we begin our journey heading back up the mountain. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Snowberries, lovely.
Okay, so interestingly enough, we just had to deal with a bunch of bandits. Now, they were hired apparently by someone by the name of Jonah, or Jonna. Now, I'm not entirely too sure who that actually is. I don't remember encountering someone with that name. But I'm guessing that might be the person who we stole the Forbidden Legends book from very early on in the game. That was the first time we've actually been either caught or someone's been hired to try to kill me in in, in the sense of for stealing something anyways but uh, that was an interesting encounter whoa spotting a hunter's camp flickering on the horizon your companion begins to pull you onward Seeing your condition, a hunter ushers you and your companion onward to the camp. You awaken a short time later, numb but alive. Did we just pass up because of the cold? We were so close to the base of the mountain as well. Oh wow. Okay. We really need to clean ourselves up here and head down. Let's get ourselves warm in some way. Whew. Okay, we begin to warm up. Let okay, that was I've never seen that before. I've I I don't think I've ever actually experienced frost no not so much frostbite, but passing out from the coldness anyways. That was a... Uh, oh what that means no 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 exit. I didn't mean to eat that or try to eat that. Let's get ourselves warm here because we're going to need it. That was uh completely unexpected. But okay, so that's what happens when you uh, when you pass out from being too cold. I'm glad I had Lydia with me, else I would have probably been stuck out there for a while. But I uh, thank you, Lydia, for saving my life in that way. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Okay, um, what does suffering from frostbite actually mean for my character, though? Let's have a look here and see what it says. Frostbitten. 25% health, magic, and stamina regeneration have been negated. Minus 10 archery, one-handed, two-handed, block, and all magicka skills by 10, and 30 minus in lock picking and pickpocketing for another 3 minutes or so. Wow, okay. Uh, that's definitely not exactly that great. That, that, that reduces all your skills, basically. Now, where are we is the question I should probably be asking. Are we further down than what we were before? Because I think, if anything, we probably died just up there, or passed out just up there. Unless we're back up the mountain a little bit more, it's hard to tell really where we are. But, um... I don't know what that active effect is at the top right, that might be the frostbitten side of things. But I'm hoping we'll at least be able to warm up enough to get down to the bottom, to the town there, to completely warm up before heading up. The heat keeps you from getting any colder. I don't think it's getting me any warmer either, sadly, so we're gonna have to leave with what we currently have, which is very cold exposure. So, that was interesting, uh, I, I really wish we could, uh, we could set up camp near the fire here, actually, that'll be beneficial for us, and we need to rest anyway, so, let's go do that, let's actually set up camp here, for the, for, for the meantime, it's, again, it's near a fire, so we should be okay, uh, pitch tent. Oh, hang on, um, I was thinking, what about Lydia? Whoa, uh, hang on. I can't remember how to actually stop doing this. Uh, yeah, don't we have a bigger tent though? I swear we did. I thought we had a bigger tent for me and Lydia to fit in. If we don't, then I'm just going to use that one. But I was hoping we had a bigger one on us. I guess not. Okay, we're going to have to go with that then. Let's put it in a... Um, try and put it in a place where it's affected by the heat. There we go. Okay, pitch down here. Whew, okay. This is getting scary. We're, we've almost come close to actually dying out here. And an ambulance won't save us from that, so... Let's go, let's rest for a little bit here, and hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll be fine. So let's lie down and, uh, go to sleep. I like how he sleeps with the torch. Lovely. Um, okay, let's sleep for a while. <clears throat> I 
I've got your back. Thank you, Lydia. Okay, this we definitely feel warm now with the sun rising and everything. I think Lydia might actually be going to bed herself. Oh, she's just standing there, whatever. Um, okay, we're a little bit thirsty. This actually looks really nice, this uh, this setting right here. But, um, yeah, so what we'll need to do is we'll need to just quickly take a drink of water, and we should be able to head our way down the mountain now. And we should be okay. We're currently not hungry, which is... Oh, I didn't mean to take that. I meant to take a... Uh, what was I even thinking? Wow. Um, okay. That should make... that We should be better now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lydia, are you sleeping? You're just gonna stand there. If you're just gonna stand there, I'm gonna have to pack my tent away. I'm sorry. Uh, pack up. There we go. Okay, time to now head back down the mountain. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to town this time without passing out from the very, very cold weather that we were just experiencing. Now, it doesn't seem like there's a blizzard right now, so we seem to be fine. Maybe that was the issue we were coming across, is that we were trying to go around a mountain during a blizzard, and that just happened to kill us in that way, so... Oh! It was just here. Okay, so... This is where I killed the bandits, and that's where the camp was. So we, we weren't too far away. I'm glad we were that close to it then. Uh, maybe if we were too far away, it might have just skipped over it. So, I'm um, in that case, I'm glad we just happened to be really, really close to one of those camps. Anyway, and that, that, that being said, we're going to head down now to Mortal momentarily to grab some food. And then we're going to be heading back up the mountain to the other area to actually investigate that. So, I'm going to fast forward again until we get to Mortal and then fast forward until we get to the base of the mountain once more. So, I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, here we are. Now, we can cook up our food. We are feeling a little hungry, which is ironic that we're now arriving here. Now, we do have a few pieces of beef on us that we can cook from the cow uh, that we saw earlier on. And actually, the cow that fell out of the sky when I started recording, that was kind of uh, funny in that way. Anyway, we now don't need to worry about uh, buying any food. We do have a fair amount of food on us. So what we will do is we'll quickly just consume some of this. Not all of this, but uh, I guess we'll just consume that and hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, that should now last us a little while longer. Maybe not that long, but it should make us... Yeah, we'll be fine. Now again, I'm going to head back up towards the mountain area, uh, and then I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we are at the base of the mountain right now, or at least one of the few areas that we went through once before. I can't remember what it was called, actually. It's just where this path leads up the mountain here. Now, we do have a few Imperials here waiting around, and I'm not too sure if they're going to head up the mountain themselves. But I kind of hope that they do, that way they could act as a little bit of backup for us. And the reason why I think this area might be relevant in a way is because, again, the Snow Elves once ruled Skyrim, and if they are rulers, then they would have something to leave behind in... In a form of structure or of some kind. Basically, I I wouldn't think a ruler would rule in small little teeny huts that wouldn't, you know, withstand time. I'm thinking that if they did rule, they probably have something... I mean, that, that looks like a place that someone would have ruled in a very long time ago. But what I'm going to quickly check out is the stone hedges that were marked on the map to see if that serves any relevance. I very much doubt it, but I just wanted to investigate it to, nonetheless because I don't think I've actually be there and, and, and I had a look at it myself. That is too far away from the path, it's actually a little bit further than I was thinking it would be. It's just over here-ish by the seams. I just wanted to see what this uh, what this was and if, if it had any relevance. Oh, Stone Hills! It, oh, I thought it said Stone Hedge. My mistake, Stone Hills is a mining place by the seams. Uh, makes sense with its title and all. But uh, yeah, I actually thought this was saying Stone Hedge, not Stone Hills. But uh, either way, we can get a little bit of warmth here before heading back up the mountain again to where 
we have been once before, but we didn't stay around to search for it. But we went through this initially a few episodes ago, or very early on in the series, sorry, when we're heading back down towards Whiterun. We kind of uh, went around the edges and tried to avoid most of the most of the enemies that were in there. So I'm hoping that by going in there now, uh, we might have a better chance of finding something. Or I mean, now that we're going to be looking around up there anyway, I'm hoping that we'll find something there. And if not, then, well, we have a few more areas to check out, but that marks one off our list, so yay for us in that regard. There's a little, whole bunch of trees dropped down over there. Anyway, let's go up the mountain. I'm going to fast forward until we get to the top side, but it should be okay nonetheless. There is a blizzard, though, which is kind of ironic, considering we just came from having a blizzard. So maybe we wait till it dies down, but uh, maybe not. I think there might be a few warm areas uh, up there, because I do remember seeing a few doors that had, uh, I'm guessing, what would be a dungeon of sorts. So maybe we'll go up there and we'll go inside and do them, and they should be a little bit warmer than being exposed in this, uh, this coldness. But yeah, anyway, I'll fast forward till we get up there. I've actually just noticed all the way at the top of the mountain, you can also see a very similar peak to what we see here. So there might be a little bit more to explore, given that we actually go up that southern mountain. Now, how we get there, I think, is, again, via the main path over here. There's no way... Uh, I mean, maybe there's a connection here, but uh, I don't remember ever seeing that path. I don't think I ever really explored it. So, I mean, this might lead us all the way up. If not, then we'll have to maybe either go around this way, loop up and around, and then over like that. That might be the way that we'll have to do things. Uh, but we'll have to see once we actually get to that. Anyway, we're investigating this area right now, so we should be focused on this area instead of uh, something that's a little bit too far out of our reach. Right for now, anyways. Now, again, we are currently going through a blizzard, so we are feeling very, very cold. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some sort of interior warmth uh, when we get to the top here. Or at least something that we can warm ourselves up in, at least even, in, even if it's just temporary. But uh, this is the place I was thinking of. This is the place that might be... Residents of all the snow elves. It's called a lab labyrinthian labyrinthian I mean the, the huts the structures it seems relevant in a way for wisp mothers doesn't it at least to me it does So what we're gonna do is I don't know if there's any enemies still around here But I'm going to go to where we know there is actually a door and that's just up here And if we go inside that maybe again, we'll find a little bit of warmth We should be fine from the coldness for a little while maybe enough just to just warm ourselves up and so on but I don't think we were meant to come this way, Brad. But uh, maybe my lead, maybe my awesome jumping skills will prove uh, prove the worthy. No. Oh, hang on. Let's go up here and over here. No. Okay. We'll go around then. Apparently, apparently we're not. No, this isn't for us today. Okay. We're gonna. Oh, actually, we can go up the wall, can't we? No, that was something we could have done. <laughs> so yeah, this might be the place. I doubt it, but it, it, you know, there's a it, there's a possibility of it being the right place. I mean, there's a dungeon right there, and there's a few yetis around. That that was my main concern, are the yetis. But if we can avoid them, maybe avoid them, because th that's where I was going to go up there. So if we come up around here, that should lead us towards where we want to go. And again, there should be some warmth in there. Hopefully, that's what I'm looking for: warmth and maybe a few ghostly people. Now we're just going to the point of being freezing, so the sooner we get in, the better we'll be. Come on, character, we can we can survive this. What's this? A burial urn? Ooh, okay, sure. I'll take that. Let's come up here now. I mean, they wouldn't put this here if they didn't expect us to be able to jump up. So, here we go. <laughs> now, Lydia should follow me in once we open up one of the doors, so that would be okay. Uh, and here we are. I don't think there's anything out there. I'm not going to bother going out there. I'm just going to head straight up and straight in. Now these... Ah, see? This here looks like snow elves to me. This might be the right place. Who knows? Let's open up the door if we can open up the door. Open ceremonial door. You like the item required. Well done. Uh, do we, are we... Is this the right place? I don't remember the thing ever speaking of needing a an item to get through the, a certain door. Maybe we are in the wrong place, which maybe we'll have to go into there then. That seems like the only other relevant option that we have. I mean, maybe there's more to this place than I'm thinking. Again, I'm trying to mostly avoid a lot of the a lot of the yetis that are around here, but uh, if we can go inside there, if there is an inside, we should be okay. 
Hopefully. Let's, let's go check this out. I mean, we're here now. So, let's go inside. Portal to... Rom... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my, you boy... I, I don't know why that scared the crap out of me, but it, it really, really did. Oh, no, I'm freezing to death again. No, this isn't the right place. We're going to have to get out of here. I don't know how to, how to get out of here. What is that? A wood mask? Okay. Not what I'm here for, but... Oh, no, we're going to set up a fire or something, Brad. We're not... Uh, build campfire. Build. Please, come on. Uh, add firewood. <sighs> Okay, I don't want to go all the way back down the mountain, but as long as we can s save ourselves, uh, even just the slightest bit here, we should be okay. Begin to warm up. Oh, thank the gods. <sighs> this is a dangerous journey. We're going to have to keep the campfire running for as long as I can. Uh, the longer I keep it running, the better off we'll be. I don't think your campfire goes out for a few hours anyway, so we should be able to warm up. And come back here every so often if we need to. So what was the mask that we picked up anyway? Was it a wearable item or was that not? Oh, it is a wearable item. This wooden mask comes with an unfamiliar energy. What else have we equipped it? Whoa! Okay. Uh, we're somewhere else right now. With the mask on? With the mask on, where are we right now? What the hell is going on? Okay, uh, this isn't... These have different names. I mean, did the item change now that we're here? No, it still says wooden mask. Um, okay. I, I mean, I don't know how I feel about being here, being that I'm cold, but, uh... So what am I meant to do? There's there's nothing here for me, unless I unequip the mask and leave, but... Hmm. What happens if I activate these? You like the item. I mean, I mean, is this mask any of these guys' masks? Like the item? I'm gonna just quickly try them all, just in case. Uh, like... I'm guessing it'll probably be named, that way we know that we actually have the right item on us. But it's worth trying anyways, for all of these. Um, and this one here. Okay, we lack all the items required for this. But this could act as, like, a a means of a temporary storage of such. Like, if we just come in here, access this area, that nothing else can get it to us. And we're kind of warm in here by the seams. But uh, this definitely isn't what we were looking for. This definitely isn't the, the, the place that we need to be. Though, is this in, like, a, a, I mean, a different time? Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, maybe, oh no, there we go, okay. I mean, I can't see outside. It, it's too bright uh, to actually look out. I just wanted to see whether or not we've either gone back in time. I mean, this definitely looks less uh, less worse for wear than the other place. But I guess we just got to take off the mask now, huh? So let's do that. Let's take off the mask and we'll put on our um, our face cover here. And do we have the uh, do we have to put the other helmet on? Or is that already on? That's already on. Okay. And let's go back then. Okay, at least we use it as a temporary warmth. Maybe we'll just go there to keep ourselves warm. Uh, but anyway, since we are now warm for a bit, no, we're beginning to warm up, we'll take the... Oh no, Lydia, are, are you... What are you fighting now? Oh, come on, of course. Okay, you started it, Lydia. Oh no, 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 it isn't. No, it isn't. I'm... okay. He's running away. See, I want to get rid of these so that I don't have to worry about them anymore. But at the same time, I know that these guys kind of easily ne now outpower me. So, either keep them stunned... Okay, we level up now! Yay, for us! Okay. Lydia's down again. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem to want to come in here. So we have that to our benefit. I don't know why he doesn't want to come in. Maybe he's scared? 
I don't know, but he, he should be going down soon. Come on, where are you? Where are you? He definitely doesn't want to come in here. But using that to our benefit. Is he scared? I don't think he's scared, I just think he's a... Uh, the AI isn't that exactly great. Okay, we got him, we got him. Thank you, Lydia, for cut cutting in at like, the last moment there. Um, okay. Explore as fast as we can. So, what do we have? We have this doorway here that doesn't seem to lead to anything at all. Actually, it does. Ooh, yay! Doorway. Shaldor's Maze. Oh, this sounds fun. There we go. And a little bit of coin. A Guardian Circle scroll and so on. Anything else here to loot? A few more things. A little bit of gold, of course. Lovely, lovely. And what's inside here, then? And sorry, it was Shaldor Maze, not Shaldor's Maze. I kind of just read that uh, a little too fast. Uh, so, being a ma- Ooh, fancy. Again, not probably not relevant, but I'm curious enough to explore it, to say the least. And it should keep us warm in a way. Uh, we'll use them as uh, warmth beacons of sorts, just to kind of navigate. Now, again, a maze is meant to be disorientating, so as long as we don't get ourselves too confused, we should be okay to navigate. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. That's why they call it a maze, then. So how would you get through that quick? quickly. Is there any observatory that we can use other than this? Maybe over there. I was just hoping maybe there's a way we could observe. We could easily navigate the, the maze, but uh, it looks quite hard even from up here to kind of judge the way that we're meant to be going. And if we get stuck in there... Oh, we can't get past here, can we? No, hang on. Can we? I don't... No, okay. I I'm not going to try cheating for the sake of just getting over. Um, even though, hang on, this wouldn't be cheating, this would be using physics. Uh, can we avoid this? There's, there's definitely something down there that's, that's intriguing me, that has my interest. And we are, I mean, because I don't want to spend too long up here and get cold, so that's something I have to worry about as well. I mean, does the maze just lead to the other side, and that's, that's an exit, or is there something inside the maze that's worthwhile getting to? Admittingly, I don't think what I did was cheating. That's a simple jump, and I don't think... I mean, the game has jumping puzzles in it, regardless of, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, very cold. I thought I heard music for a second then. Uh, oh, I did hear music. There's a word, a word of uh, what a power in there. Let's go... Let's check out this quickly before going, before going down there, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some form of warmth. I mean, if we go down there, we're going to have to go back through the maze anyway, so uh, it could be dangerous in that way as well. Anything in here? Ah! Oh! There we go, hang on. Skeleton, you have just gold. What is this then? An elven mace? Alrighty. Uh, oh, I thought that was going to bring us over our carrying capacity, but apparently not. So can we go down here safely? Maybe not safely. Oh, over there I think we, 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 we could be fine. Don't wanna, Again, don't want to spend too much time up here. Uh... I don't, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to freeze to death. So, the sooner we get down there, the better off we'll be. Unless there's something back here to yield us a way down, safely, maybe? Yes, there is. Okay. Hello, word of power. Oh, L did Lydia take the maze to get all the way through here? <laughs> Man, your AI path writing, I need to utilize that in some way to my benefit, seriously. Okay, we are freezing. What a power alert. We need warmth. Some form of torches or, or something to block out all this that's currently going on here. Open shutter. What's the shutters for? Um. Okay. I don't know what the shutters are for. I, I need... Okay, this seems like a, a quick way around. I need warmth. Seriously. Are you going to warm me up? or you, you, If you don't help, I'm not going to stay here, but come on. Warmth. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Um, water. Don't want to go into that. That might cause us to freeze even more. 
We should try going in the maze. There sounds like there's stuff in there, or something in there. It doesn't sound friendly, but there sounds like there's something in there nonetheless. And there's at least some more warmth over here, so we have that going for us at least. Let's warm up here, hopefully. Come on, character. Warm up. Whew, okay. I want to see what that dead guy is and what all the markings are on the ground, because I am curious, to say the least, as to what this place has potentially to offer us. So... Here we go, we'll check that out, and, and then maybe we'll end the episode here. I mean, we've explored quite a bit, so I've been enjoying this, but I don't think it's too relevant. So, I mean, that's that's the point of adventures, isn't it? It's more so about the journey than it is about the, you know, the end objective, or your destination, I guess. So, whilst we are mostly looking for the Pale Lady quest, we're, you know, having a little bit of detour, I guess. Even though I wouldn't really consider it much of a detour, as it's still in the general vein of the area where we need to be. So, let's go check this out. What is this? Uh, it looks like a sacrifice with the way they've been laid out. Burnt corpse and soul gem. And a tattered note. Enter twice. Exit only once. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows the way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. Only illusion shows the way to restoration. Only illusion. It's referring to types of magic, I know that, obviously. Take the gem. Staff of fear. Staff of repulsion. Staff of firebolts. And mage light. Well, hang on. What's illusion? Illusion is, uh, light, isn't it? Um. Alt well, hang on. Let's check what we can. I didn't even see the staffs there, honestly. So I have, uh. I mean, what, are these meant to be here? <laughs> I just want to quickly check the staff of, um, where's, where, I thought we had a staff, staff of sparks on us, that is, a. Uh, see, that doesn't help us at all, we'll have to check the magic, see which one's which, so that's, uh, fear, mage, repulsion, and firebolt, that's destruction, that's definitely destruction, uh, fear and mage light, I don't know what the areas they go into, um, mage light is alteration, do we have any... Alteration, destruction, restoration. We don't have any actual... Um, any illusions of sorts. So maybe fear is an illusion? Let's have a look again. Let's go and look at our level up screen and the magic that we have access to here. Why are these all zero? Oh, because of our, our, our debuffs, I'm guessing. Okay. Increase our health just a little bit more. Now, um, illusion was what we're looking up here. Cast novice illusions. I think illusion might be fear. Calm spells. Calm and fear. That's what I'm thinking of, anyway. Frenzy spells. Yeah, it definitely... Yeah, aspect of terror. The fear spells. So, fear leads... Hang on. Read the note again once more, just to be sure. I, I don't know if there's an, an, a bad thing to picking up the wrong thing. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion will show you the way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. I mean, is destruction a bad thing to be led to? And in the case that this is talking about spell categories, alteration could lead you to destruction spells? Or illusion can lead you to restoration abilities? I don't know. I'm going to take illusion because that sounds like a less worryful path, and restoration isn't exactly a bad thing to go along either. So let's go with illusion then. So the Staff of Fear. Um, do they not care that we... Can we take all these? That doesn't seem right to me. Hang on, let's have a look at this one item in particular. To see if, if this is anything bad. Because I don't trust it. <laughs> they they would just turn around and be like, Hey, here's, here's four weapons for you, and so on. Where is it exactly? Start off of fear. There's no damage. Can we take all? This doesn't seem right. But we are carrying too much anyways. What does he have on him? Bone meal. Let's drop off a few things that we don't care about. Uh, more so the heavier stuff. Like stuff in, over here. Um, Elven shield I can get rid of. You, you're not worth much at all. The hide. Uh, you're worth a bit to sell. You be dropped anyway. How much? Oh, we're under already. Okay. So why are all these items here? I mean, they're worth a fair amount. But I don't get it. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being derpy. <laughs> let's, let's mark this as a favorite, though. And equips it. 
Well, hang on. Was that the right stop? These actually now look fit and proper. So... And this is definitely the one that's worth the most. Okay. Let's go check this out real quick, Lydia. And th there's open shutters on this as well. Ah. Gold. A soul gem. Is this a, is this a choice thing? Hmm. Let's go in. Oh. Signal of alteration. Oh, you need the right weapon. Uh, I'm a fool. Uh, alteration. That would be mage light. Oh. Easy enough. Oh, okay. That actually does that close bring him down as well. Okay, let's rush through this. Flute. This is just giving us items. I don't think this is a bad thing. Thirsty and hungry. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's quickly eat and drink. Uh, I need up. There we go. Okay. Feeling very, very cold right now. You said alteration leads to destruction, though. Is there a different way to enter this puzzle? Uh, oh. That's it. I'm a fucking idiot. Wait. It, oh, thank you, Lydia. I used the... Th oh, my God. What's that, charcoal? I think we should be doing... I think we should save this for the next episode, honestly. But that's, that's the uh, that's the exit right there. Or no, is this... No, this is not the exit, is it? Um... That is the exit. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave this for the next episode. So, um... Oh, Lydia. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and uh, this will be an interesting experience to complete anyways. I don't know if there's anything in here that we need to look for. Other than the, the, the reward that we've probably already gotten at the end of it anyway. But uh, I'll leave this here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.